What was the Ark of the Covenant used for? Why was it necessary for the Israelites to have such a powerful artifact? Let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 25 verse 8. And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. That I, the Most High God, may dwell among them. 2 Samuel 6, 2 And David arose and went with all the people that were with him from Bailey of Judah to bring up from thence the ark of God whose name is called by the name of the Lord of hosts, that dwelleth between the cherubims. So he dwells between the cherubims, which means the Levites were able to talk to the Most High God in the Holy of Holies. In between the two angels, those arms is where the voice of the Most High would come out. The Ark of the Covenant represented the glorious reputation and glorious presence of the Lord to Israelites. Now let's talk about the temple or sanctuary of Moses that was made in the wilderness. There was an altar of sacrifice. Now the same way this was set up is how it is set up before the stones of fire in heaven. And instead of the sheep or the lamb, we know Christ is the sacrifice now. He was that perfect lamb of God without blemish for the sins of the nation of Israel. But this is how the altar was set up. They would put the blood there as a sacrifice for sins. There was the other courtyard with the laver. There was the tradition of washing of hands for Aaron and his sons, the priests. They had to wash their hands and feet before they entered the tabernacle. Next, there was a separate room called the Holy of Holies. Entering there was the inner court where the artifacts of the Almighty were. The candlestick, the shoe bread, that was to be consumed by the priests only. Only the priests could touch the shoe bread on the tables of gold. And then there was the altar of incense. From here the priests, the Levites, would get ready to go behind the curtain to the Holy of Holies, where the Ark of the Covenant, the voice of God, resides in and speak to men, the priests. Inside of the Ark is the golden pot that had manna, and Aaron's rod that budded, and the tables of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. Psalms chapter 99 verse 1. The Lord reigneth, let the people tremble. He sitted between the cherubims, let the earth be moved. The Mosai sitted between the cherubims, let the earth be moved. Back then, it was announced throughout all the Gentile lands, that they would not touch an Israelite. They feared what would happen to them based on the power of the Almighty that once resided amongst the elect. They knew it meant war from heaven if they dared to come against the Israelites. A nuclear weapon would be less than a firecracker against the Ark of the Covenant. So this gives a whole new insight into no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Isaiah 37, 16 O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, that dwellest between the cherubims, thou art the God, even thou alone of all the kingdoms of the earth. Thou hast made heaven and earth. This is the God that made heaven and earth. The cherubims are the two angels before the mercy seat. Hebrews 9.1 Then verily the first covenant had also ordinances of the divine service and a worldly sanctuary. Covenant means agreement. This is an agreement between the heavens and God's people. 
and in the agreement was the Ten Commandments. By following these commandments, it was the relationship, the covenant, the agreement. Now those of us in Christ, we have access to the throne of the Most High God. The blood of Christ makes us worthy enough to go boldly before the throne of God that we may find mercy and grace to help in time of need. Hebrews 9.1 Then verily the first covenant had also ordinances of divine service and a worldly sanctuary. A worldly sanctuary that was set up under Moses in the wilderness. Hebrews 9.2 for there was a tabernacle made, the first, wherein was the candlestick, and the table, and the shoe bread, which is called the sanctuary. There was a candlestick, the table that had the shoe bread, the incense set up. Hebrews 9 3. And after the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all. Verse 4, which had the golden censer and the ark of the covenant overlaid round about with gold, wherein was the golden pot that had manna and Aaron's rod that budded and the tables of the covenant, the holiest of all and the tables of the covenant, the tables of the agreement. The Mosai never broke a covenant with his people. They broke the agreement through sin. For sin is the transgression of the law. So the old covenant was made null and void through sin. Under the new covenant, Christ gave a spiritual map to follow to re-establish the covenant once again. The Ark of the Covenant is somewhere in this earth waiting for the children of Israel. That's right. The children of Israel will access the Ark of the Covenant again at the very end to protect them just before Christ returns. Hebrews 9, 5 And over it the cherubims of glory shattering the mercy seat of which we cannot now speak particularly which we cannot now speak particularly. Why? Because at this time, the Ark of the Covenant was already placed someplace. It was gone already. Now there was no need for it at this time anyways, because Christ himself represented all of that. He was the walking Ark of the Covenant on earth. It was him who would through his blood make it to where Israel would one day have access to the covenant again, a new and a better covenant. So he was that walking ark of the covenant. So there was no need for it to be there at this time. That's why it said we cannot particularly speak of because all the other things were in the temple that Herod the Great helped to erect, but not the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant during Herod's time was born and began to walk amongst men, speaking of Christ, the man that would make the agreement where the Israelites can speak to God again like they did during the time of Moses, and where also all people, Jews and Gentiles, who accept Christ as Lord and Savior, would be able to go boldly before the throne of the Almighty. Praise the Most High. Until next time, always remember that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Find your strength through Christ. Please subscribe to the channel like, comment, and share the videos. Thank you for listening. Be blessed always.